good evening to each and everyone. I want to tell you about my brother, Nev, my favorite brother, Nev. He never was so good to me that I can't explain. I only hope and wish him to rest in peace. Because Nev helped me take up most of my infirmity. I have six sons born in Nev house. It's no problem, no trouble, everything too easy. Nev helped me with my kids them. Even when we go on the farm work. And God is so good that he go, he go before me. And when me go, I, I go at the same camp he is. And me and him was there for so long. I do 13 seasons there. And just me and never. And never take the best care of me. You go to the field at the when he work on the car, he was working in the kitchen. And he carry special food for me every day out of the field. He bring her extra juice. Because you know his son was so hot. He need juice. And when some of them will get one, but he have to save an extra one for me. I was so thankful. Because I tell you, even when we are to work, sometimes we work, we don't get more $20 for the deer. $18 for the deer. We work in the field. My brother Nev was, he was, because he was in, 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 go to that camp before me. So he was so senior to the camp that he have get the opportunity to work in the kitchen. He was working, so he get a better pay more than what he get cut in the camp. Me now, have I get me now, but lucky my, I have more kids more than all of them. When I send the little money where I get some of them, some don't get now. I have to go back to my brother Nev and say, lend me your money, make me send home, go to them pick me. And he let me, he never refused, refused to lend me. And I say it, I may his soul rest in peace. I come home him, and we move together, we work together, we work partner together. He says he lands, piece of land selling. And he said, me is the first thing come and say, come let we buy that piece of land. And we put together and we buy it. And we share. And me even sell our back piece of my own and left piece of my grandson. And Nev, 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 my brother Nev. <laughs> He even come here and he stay, took sick. Can't help himself. And every morning, when I pass here, I fix stop and help Jaja. Jaja is the favorite daughter. I have a lot to do. Jaja, he alone is here with my brother Nev. Sometimes when Nev lay down, he put the bed at the low, and when he later in can't get to judge alone, cannot take him up, I have to help her and take up me because he was so heavy and he died big, big and fat, same way. So may God bless Georgia. I him best because the Bible said the dead after they bury the dead. And I see some people not care about the family. God bless the one who stay with their parents, mother or father, until when they die and then stand up and help put them away. God bless those people. Some children take some of their parents, carry them go to Bellevue and leave them, carry them go to the hospital or public and leave them and give wrong address and wrong number and those people stay there and suffer till they die. But Georgia stand up with my brother never. And to the last and we stand together and we going to do the the, the last to him. 
sending home in peace. Make he go and rest with him, father, with him, father in Savior above. My brother Nev, that's what I glad for again. He repent of his sin. He surrender his life to God. You go to the Baptist church and go on and give him testimony. And everyone that's come here, come look for him. Whether them save or not, he ask them for prayer. That's good. Every time that's me come in call, if he don't come in call me, I say, must come and pray for him. And I pray for my brother. And in gone, gone home to glory. My brother Nev, we love you. But Jesus loves you best. Goodbye. Hi everyone, my name is Marissa, daughter of Georgia Blake. And I'm here to give a reflection of my grandfather. He was only 86 years old, which means I can only give you my version. I was blessed to have some great men in my life and Uncle Nev was one of them. At this point, I know I may sound like a broken record, Uncle Nev has a big heart. He was kind, happy, loving. He was just always smiling. But he was very stern and direct. A disciplinarian. You cannot do or say certain things around Uncle Nev. You would hear him saying, Wait, before you sang our manners. For example, when him and his friends, back in the days, him and his friends, Bugu mask back, they would be in the living room talking in the night time or watching TV talking. If you as a little kid would just, you're just pl simply playing and you would run over their, their legs and they would stretch the leg across the walkway. You run over their leg, you have to, he'll pull you, he'll grab you by, his, by your hand and pull you back and then you just know you have to say, excuse me. You can't pass your place when Uncle Nev is around. He was strong-headed. Papa just, <laughs> he was always right. He loves to cook. He would always cook and tell you, um, whether he's cooking or, he's, or he wants you to cook, he will tell you to cook enough for passerby, always cook enough for passerby. He wasn't a big meat eater. He would more eat like fish or seafood and um, vegetable. But even though he wasn't a meat eater, you could give him any meat to cook and he will cook it without tasting it. And I tell you, it will come out real good. I don't know how he cook it without tasting it. And he knows the right amount of salt, right amount of seasoning to put in there, but Uncle Nev was just good in the kitchen. You, you give him any meat, as I said, oxtail, curry goat, chicken, anything, and especially his manish water, that goat soup, real good. He also used to love tea. He loved making tea. He like his Lipton green tea, sorry, green tea bag. He loved that without milk. Coffee, busy, chocolate, it was just good. Especially his coffee, I love his coffee because he would normally make his coffee with coconut milk, cinnamon, nutmeg, and it was just good. He was a family man. <clears throat> Excuse me. He was a family man and a people's person. He loved his wife, he loved his wife kids, and grandkids and grandchildren. Or I should say, he just loves everyone who come around. Anyone that comes around would feel warm and welcomed. He's hardworking. Uncle Nev is a true definition of working from sun up till sundown. His routine was wake up, head to the bathroom, shave his beard, shave. Because Uncle Nev would shave every morning. Then head to the kitchen. 
to make breakfast. And I remember when mommy, it was just me and Mel there at one point. Uncle Neville would make our breakfast every morning. And also warmer water, you know, to take a bath to go to school. So every morning, he would call, Marissa and Melody, come for the breakfast. That's his word for breakfast. You, know, you could correct Uncle Neville like 50 times. He will always call that word breakfast. You tell him Uncle Neville is breakfast, not breakfast. Yes, breakfast, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> He's gonna go back to say breakfast. Uncle Nev, also in the morning, I wasn't a morning person, Mel was a morning person. So even though we're going to school, I'm always the one to wake up last out of a bed. And he would always call us for breakfast. And he would say, he would shout us, Marissa, come for your breakfast. No, I'm sorry. Melo, Melody, Melody. Come for your breakfast. Marissa, you wash your face? Because I'm always in the in the bed, you know. So you know that you have to call me to tell me to go to bed. I mean to wash my face because Mel is always up early and ready for the morning while I'm always just dragging for the in the morning because I'm not a morning person. Then after making the breakfast, he would go feed his pigs. After feeding the pigs, he would come back to the house, his donkey, and head to to the farm, all the way all the way up in the hills. Um, he would normally go to, I think McCoy first, then Rock Hill, then he head to Ch Chisey, then head back around, and you know, do the same thing every day. And in the evening, check up on his animals and his farm. Every day he does that. After. I that's where he, when he goes to the farm, that's where we'd sp he would spend the entire day. And when I say the entire day, I mean the entire day. Because most time, night would bring Uncle Nev home. I'm telling you, sometimes Granny would be mad because Uncle Nev just can't learn. Just You tell him today, okay, he'll come, he might come early at one day. The next day, he's going to be late again. So Uncle Nev was a very hard worker. He worked from morning till night. And you would think after after going to Rock Hill and Chai C and Makwai, you would think that he'll come home and just go come home, take a shower and rest. No. Uncle Nev is going to go back to the pig pen when he comes back down in the, to John's Hall. So the pig pen feed the pig and then I have to come back and make his donkey food so he will chop up the little the cane the bits and pieces like he would bring home cane and then because he's always bringing back the donkey because sometimes he rides the donkey back and forth so he will chop up his donkey cane like in little pieces and then he would um sometimes we'll go and um he told somebody his donkey his donkey cane because <laughs> the cane we would chop them so tiny you know and it's a good cane he is giving like the donkey right real good cane not like bad cane or whatever so you can eat it the only thing that you really, really couldn't eat it like that bit because he sometimes he doesn't peel it or he would chop it on this bitter wood and i would ask him why is the wood so bitter and he would tell me, oh, it's a bit of wood. You have to chop it on it so the donkey belly wouldn't hurt. The donkey belly wouldn't hurt. I'm telling you, Uncle Dev donkey was like one of his child, you know? His child. <laughs> Uncle Dev just loves people. Like, whether you're an animal or a human being, you are going to be loved by Uncle Dev. He just takes care of any, anything and every, everyone. <laughs> um... When uh, he was a generous, he was a genuine and loyal person. Never on time doing him. I guess I get that from him. I got that from him. Never on time, but always in time. Uncle Nev was someone you could always depend on. 
is going to show up for you or show or Zia is going to show up for you or show up with you. Man, Uncle Nev, I am truly going to miss you. I'm going to miss the phone calls, the video call, we would talk and chat on, you know, all the time. You're calling me, telling me, Marissa, um, if you got a doctor, you send me money to charge her yet? <laughs> um, rally time. That was your time. You have to get to rally money again. Um, just, I will just miss you praying for me. Praying for us, your grandkids, neighbors, just the entire, the whole community, whole community. Praying for them. I'm going to miss your smile, for sure. I'm going to miss your little um um talks you would give us. Oh, one more thing, especially on your birthday, I'm going to miss your birth. This birthday. We didn't get to even sing you a happy birthday and then you would just always tell us, Oh, thank you. And same to you. <laughs> okay, there was a little character, I'll tell you. Um I'm going to miss um calling you and talking and you would even sometime you're not your hundred, your one hundred, you would still you know, I will call and try to live your spirit and I say, Papa, you look good to them, man. You know, and you'll tell me, oh, my stomach, I feel good. Or, you know, that's, but you still try to smile, you know. I'm going to miss, I already miss or talk. I'm going to miss not hearing you in the background, which I already miss not hearing you in the background. Calling Jaja, Jaja, come here, man, Jaja. You could, you could call them mommy like 50 times or more a day um i'm going to miss um just everything about you uncle Nev. i am happy you left knowing that knowing how much i love you and i must tell you thank you for loving me sleep in paradise uncle Nev.